Hello and welcome to part 26 of my 100% zero playthrough. Last episode I went over and farmed the snowman DLC, got ourselves some pretty decent snipers here. Also got ourselves a better sniper rifle class mod, not a great one, but you know it could be worse. A few different elemental relics, got the incendiary and the corrosive fastball. Pretty shitty herald for when things get tough, you know, you always gotta have an emergency herald on hand. And then we have ourselves a topnia. Here's a quick look at our build, gonna be specking down the middle tree I think, so I can get some kunai next. So now I want to talk about what we're gonna be doing today as well is going forward so first things first i need to beat the uvhm story so what i'm going to be doing today is just running through that once i reach the good the bad and the mordecai i'm going to stop and farm a liuda or two for our sniper build and i'll probably also get an upgraded b shield at that point that way we won't be hindered at all moving forward we'll have plenty of gear to just knock out the rest of the uvhm story but if we do need to stop and get more gear then i'll move into the fight for sanctuary dlc and i'll beat that because more than likely i'll end up doing fight for sanctuary just to gear up for the peak anyway so it's not going to be a big deal if i do it now or later but before we get our OP levels. Once I finish up the UVHM main story, I'm going to head back to TVHM, knock out every single side mission and main mission, every mission in TVHM. That's something that we have to do anyway in TVHM, and it's going to give us a hell of a lot of XP, which will be pretty nice. Also, while I'm going through TVHM and doing all the missions, I'm going to get every single vault symbol that I missed up until now. So we have a couple DLCs I haven't gotten them in, as well as just a couple of miscellaneous random ones I need to snag. And once we complete all of the TVHM missions, as well as locate every single vault symbol, I'll go back to UVHM, level the rest of the way to 80 and then we just got to get to op10 and reset our playthrough also gwen said and then once we get into op10 that's where the shit hits the fan that's where we're gonna have to farm literally everything that we haven't gotten yet which is most stuff and then we're also gonna have to find all the rare mobs kill all the raid bosses i mean it's gonna be one hell of an undertaking to say the least and i'm already out here trying to kill cars even though i haven't spoken to ellie yet so you know making progress baby good thing i'm so good at the game we'll be able to knock out all these daunting goals in no time oh did i mention the badass challenge log don't forget the badass challenge log who could forget the badass challenge log i know i couldn't i see the badass challenge log when i blink you know i'm so so happy i've got the b shield i mean it makes this so easy it really does well now it's just more story quests until we get to the lyota farm so i'll probably see you guys once we get there unless anything funny happens but there's nothing funny about this okay it's bad mod time let's get the death mark get the slag and then yep fastball oh hubert no hubert no what do you have to gain from this what do you stand to gain from stabbing me hubert you know, I tested out the top me in the last episode, and it seemed to work pretty well, but I think we need a more accurate test, so let's see, you know, what the top near can really do, let's, uh, sorry about this. You don't need to really worry about getting down with the top near, you see, it's kind of what it's made for. It's kind of its thing. Yeah, so, I mean, the top near works, guys, it just works. Alright, Warden. Wow, oh, Jesus, he's just so easy, what a bitch. Alrighty, cleaned up those robots pretty nicely out here. Turn that main mission into Roland, and we are almost ready to get our Liudas. Oh, I forgot to burn myself alive in that chamber, see if I get a decent item from it. Kind of an odd thing to be disappointed about when you say it out loud like that, but, uh, but I'll get it next time. To the Tundra Express we go. Gather around now, Varkids, gather around. Your children, to me children. Yes, yes. A little bit closer. Perfect. Tundra Patrol, he's already here. You know what? Since he's right in front of me, maybe I'll just go ahead and kill him, man. I might stop by and do that mission. Could get a Hulk or a Ravager from it. Okay, made it over here to the Tundra Express Bandit Stash, or Tundra Patrol, I should say. I'll just let these guys go into their pods. Maybe Vermeerverse will spawn. I guess these Varkids count as bandits now because the, the objective's not marked off, but there are no more bandits, I can tell you that. I don't really know what I'm going to do if it is him, to be, you know, to be honest with you. No, just a normal super badass. All right, another super badass. Oh, it ricocheted. Wow. Four fastballs to bring the behemoth down. Okay, enough lollygagging. This, I think, is the final bandit for our mission over here. No, there's just a whole bunch of them. Where are you guys even coming from at this point? Let's see if we can get something here. No, no, neither of these are very good. Actually, that's not a very bad shotgun. It's only one ammo per shot, so that wouldn't be too bad, but not what I'm hoping for. Tundra Express is all completed now. We'll head in here, take out Wilhelm, snag our core, and then we'll be able to get our Lyuda mission before we have to wait for the whole sanctuary thing. I'm gonna go and farm it before that. There's a way to do it, but last time I screwed it up. Okay, you slagged. No, I need to get the death mark. Wow. Pathetic. I'm already dead to Wilhelm. 
Yeah, snag that. Power core, no drop from Wilhelm. Let's spend our skill point then. Gotta figure out what I'm gonna do here. I just, I just don't want to put points in the two fang and the only other skill in this tree that I might consider is ambush and that's pretty shitty. So I think I gotta do it. I gotta put it into one shot, one kill. I know for certain you can do the good, the bad, and the Mordecai before you go through the fridge. I think I have to just pop the power core out maybe. No, it's not the power core. Okay, maybe I just gotta turn in the mission. Let's turn in the mission and let's not touch that. And I'm gonna run back over to the bounty board. Moment of truth. Yep, there it is. All right, good, the bad, and the Mordecai. So before I go any farther in the main story, just gonna head on over to the dust, knock this mission out, and farm us up a couple of Liudas. Be nice to have a truly supreme rifle for a change. You know, these ones I got last episode are serving me fairly well, but they're not as good as I would hope. First step is to nail this sick ass jump and find Carson. And there we go. That's what I like to do. Right onto the metal of sheet. Metal of sheet. Sheet of metal. Same thing, you know. Oh my god. The flying warloader. Oh no, he's tightrope walking, my bad. Free good old Carson from prison. You know, I thought Carson was dead underneath the sheet metal, but it appears I was mistaken. That was a different band that looks exactly the same as Carson here. And now it's time to get our farm on. I'm hoping for a non-elemental one because that would be the best, or maybe a shock one even. I'll also take both a corrosive and a uh, fire one, similar to the fastball. And let's get ourselves a better Moxie's endowment here. How much XP are we gonna get? 8.4, hoo hoo hoo. What? Why does this keep happening to me? I swear to God, so many times over the past like few episodes I've recorded, enemies have just disappeared before my very eyes. I see him on the map. He's there. Well, I guess, you know, run three didn't exist. Run three didn't happen. What? He came all the way up here. I can't believe, I can't believe it. What the fuck is this? Like, what? He... What did he do? Like, how did he get up here? What, what is the what is the path he took? You can't be serious right now. There's just no way in hell he made it up here. If he can do it, so can I, right? Is there a skip here I don't know about where you can just fucking drive the car right up the mountain? Oh, got ourselves our first Varuk. You know, I'll take it. I'm probably not going to use it, but I'll take it. I'm going to try to become that bandit technical. I'm going to try to recreate what it did. So my only guess is, is one of two things. It either spawned up there by some act of God or it made it up, you know, somewhere over here interesting so let's get a running start gonna start probing the wall for weakness okay not necessarily weakness but we got a little bit of air time there i gotta try to recreate what these uh what these guys might have been doing so i went up right there and i was running the cars were right here and they followed me along so was it like oh not like that i tried for a little while but i don't think i'm gonna be able to recreate that i really have no clue what happened there but somehow some way Woo. Woo. Oh, come on. Damn it. Fuck you, man. No drop again. 15 runs, no Lyuda. I'm sad. I'm sad. No Lyuda again. Why, ghetto? Why, ghetto? Dude. A fucking Hulk. He dropped me a Hulk before he drops me a fucking Lyuda. We gotta be on 30, 40 runs right now. I swear to God, 30 to 40 runs, no Lyuda. I've only gotten one Varuk. One! I'd really hope to get more done this episode than just farming for a Lyuda, but it doesn't appear that that's gonna happen. The game has spoken. It said no more progress. It's right there. Oh my god. I really don't know how many runs it was. I was not counting. I, uh, I, I'll keep track of them when I edit the video so you guys can see. At least it's not elemental, you know, level 55. Bladed sucks, but I'll take it. I, it's gonna work. I'm done. I'm leaving. Like, I can't spend another second standing here in the dust. I was farming that Lyuda for probably about an hour. I'm not even joking. Probably about an hour on just that Lyuda. Before I go launch Sanctuary into Oblivion and then go through the fridge and, you know, the highlands and do all that, I'm gonna go grab a new bee shield. I'm over here in the, the forest. I already unlocked this farm in UVHM when I came through to get the grog nozzle, so no big deal. Just gonna pop into the immortal woods over here and get going. Oh, I see a bee! You son of a bitch, man. I hate these pictures. I always end up hitting them on accident and getting killed by them. Level 54. Yee. Certainly an upgrade, but I'm going to keep going. I want at least a level 56, if not level 57. Okay. Yeah, that's more like it. And I think we got another B already. Nice. Level 57, but 7.4 second delay. You know, not too great, but definitely better than the one we've got. I'll hold on to it. But since we've only done four runs, I think I can keep going for a little while. Maybe we can get a better one. A purple bandit launcher, I see. Holy mother of God. Give me that monster. All right. Slag up the tree. Out. Wow. Good rocket speed, too. And we got a B shield. What a great day, everybody. Level 54. I take it back. What a bad day, everybody. 
Another B-Shield. Man, I'm getting so lucky with the B-Shield. This is where all our luck went. Level 54. God, maybe I need, to, I need to quit saying anything before I look at the B-Shield. Oh, B-Shield. Yep, that'll work. I will take it. That's our final B-Shield. Son of a bitch, man. Every time. Step two of my master plan is complete. Now we just gotta beat the UVHM main story and we can move on to everything else we gotta do. Okay, I put the power core in. If I save quit right now, will I just spawn in the middle of town, like in the middle of the mission? Is that gonna be what happens? Yeah, I hear the music. All right, perfect. That's way easier. Somebody told me that in the comments, I believe. Uh, thank you for that. I forget exactly who, but I do appreciate it. And if I save quit now, I wonder what will happen because the mission is checked off. So I don't know exactly what. Oh, three horns divide. Good sign. Nice. All right. So we uh, we skipped that as well. Turn a mission to the fridge door right here. Now we gotta wait for the flambe. beige. Oh wait, we gotta level up. Don't have to wait for anything actually. Pop that one into one shot, one kill as well, and throw on our new B shield, which is a monstrous upgrade. Fifty percent more amp damage. Making real good time through the fridge over here. The Laiut is serving us very, very well. I'm very happy I didn't stop farming. I was about to, I'll be honest with you. I, I was considering whether it was worth it or not. I was losing my sanity and I was losing my will to live, but I did get it eventually. Made it to the Highlands Outwash. There is my home sanctuary. I'm gonna make sure I don't forget the fast travel this time around. I did last time and that sucked. It really did. Okay, I'm three for three so far. Undefeated in the bridge defense. Here we go. I, I, I didn't do it. I'm dead. Kind of in shock, to be honest with you. I can't believe that bridge is up right now. How the mighty have fallen, everybody. Gotta take this slow as fuck elevator like a peasant, man. This is awful. Just awful. Goodbye, constructor. Okay, there goes big boy. Place the beacon here and we'll start our tower defense. Repair beacon already? Jesus, you monsters. Oh, it's done. We did it. Nice. That wasn't too bad at all. Let us return to Sanctuary and meet my many, many friends like Johnny Waffles. Who could forget Johnny Waffles? Turn the mission into Roland. A green glass mod. Ooh, they're getting brave with these main story mission rewards. And we have Wildlife Preserve next. Okay, before I do anything, I'm not going to forget this. This is the most important part of the Wildlife Preserve. Where is Tannis? There you are. Doctor's orders. All right. Now we'll be able to do the loot midget farm. Casa de Mordecai. Hello, Mordecai. Goodbye, Mordecai. Okay, let's cripple some loaders. I love crippling loaders. Got one. Two. A three. Nice. Uh, fiddle DD. Is that what that is? Fiddle DD. Yeah, what a launcher, man. No Pimon nor Tumba here this time around. That's a bit unfortunate. I've been seeing them a lot recently. Uh, I miss my friends. Oh, loot midget, everybody. We got a loot midget. I think this might be our first legendary loot midget. Ooh. Heart of the Ancients and Launcher. Yep, I thought it was a bone, not, a, not what I want. However, it is a unique relic, so I will mark that down on our list. Wow, get shit on, badass stalker, no more. Okay, here we go, four loot midgets. There goes the jet loader, wanna get him before he launches. Ooh, we got a bone. Skin, skin of the Ancients, another unique relic. Probably gonna be a lot of unique relics here coming up pretty soon just because they drop them quite a bit in UVHM. We've got a Heart of the Ancients. Right here is a Blood of the Ancients. Mark that one off our list. Uh, another Heart. Already got that. And then the Skin. That is three unique relics already. None of those relics are particularly great. And I'd rather get Bones of the Ancients for the uh, elemental damage. But I will take them. We still need them. Where's the, where's the Rabbit Stalker? It's like he's disappeared. I still see the red marker on the map. I even hear him. Oh. He's right here invisible, I see. It's a friendly stalker, everybody. Me and my pet stalker, Jimmy. You just can't see him until you beat him, and then you can see him. What a guy, this stalker. Sorry it has to be this way, buddy. Oh, Jimmy, Jimmy Jenkins, everybody. We found Jimmy Jenkins, he's real. I'm pretty sure that's the first Jimmy Jenkins I've seen this playthrough, so I'll mark him off our rare enemies list. Nice. He can't drop loot like a normal loot midget, but he's special in his own way. One more death mark. You're not going anywhere, Bloodwing. No siree or no ma'am. You're, you're a woman, I believe. I have to say, I don't feel like I was adequately compensated for my efforts here. Well, that's going to do it for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. If you've made it this far, maybe give me a like or subscribe. That would be very appreciated. I'll have all of our progress listed on screen as usual. If you're interested in seeing more of this, I have links to our spreadsheets in the description. There's also a link to my Discord server in the description. If anybody's interested in joining there, we would love to have you. I also live stream Wednesday through Saturday, 10 p.m. through 1 a.m. every week week so if anybody wants to stop by the live streams i'd love to have you there last but certainly not least i want to say a huge thank you to all of my channel members you guys are absolutely amazing people thank you so much for the support again it really does mean a lot to me but that's going to be everything once again thank you so much for watching and i hope to see everybody on the next episode have a great day